Welcome to another episode of Labor of Love. Next up, we've got police digital media forensic specialists. Let's go. Today, we're doing a ride along with Plano Police Digital Media Forensic Supervisor Brandon Saylor. He's been with the department 19 years. Before forensics, he was a crime analysis intelligence analyst. The job I did before was completely behind the desk. Okay. This job now, it's nice. It's about half out in the field, half back at your desk. Most of Brandon's job involves gathering any video or stills that could help the investigator solve a case. So we're going to an apartment complex. A person's car was broken into and some property was taken. What property was taken, you may ask? We'll get into that next. I'll write some information down real quick. Oftentimes, the video playback systems aren't the same at each location he goes to to gather video. Sometimes they don't even show the correct times, so Brandon makes sure to note that in his paperwork. That wagon. That was all they took, yeah. They only took the wagon? Yes. This is a case of a wagon? Yes. A missing wagon. Brandon does a lot of scrubbing through video to notate any odd behaviors, like perhaps a parked car backing into another parking space. You went back into it? Oh. What are we doing? Oh. Ooh, this looks right, sketchy. Then, the cart culprit emerged, which was riveting. Oh, yeah! Yep. <laughs> Found it. And remember, just because the stolen property value may be minimal, Brandon says they treat every case with the same level of detail. Okay, so they going. leave. He left? 17.04. So now I know my end time. <gasps> Is that him? Oh. He would have seen the wagon. He was like, I need one of those. <laughs> Okay. okay, so it was that one. Stop, yes. There it is. So it's Just like, matches. this could be you. <laughs> now, once we gathered all the video That's evidence, fine. it was time to head back to headquarters to get some solid still images for the detective. Only problem, Brandon put me in charge. One. What do I do? So, yeah. <laughs> so, drag your box over there. To make like it a tiny little box? You can, however big you want to do it. If you include the whole vehicle in this picture. Then yeah. we have to enhance the image. Kind of, uh, can you tell I have no okay. clue what I'm doing here? <laughs> 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 Take off this sharpen. You can try it and see what happens. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> With this job, okay. it's a lot of, of trial and error, it's seeing okay. what different tools within the forensic software work. Brandon says the forensics team carries as much importance as other areas in the department when it comes to solving cases. Just as vital as the criminal is to collect the physical evidence. And Plano's team, he says, is very much ahead of the curve. That's one of the many reasons to join the department. We are by far the biggest dedicated unit to forensic video in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. There are other departments that have maybe one or two analysts. The more agencies that have this type of specialty, the better we can help each other because criminals don't know city limits. They, they're all over the place. So if you have a passion for solving cases and serving justice, Plano PD is where you should be. Thanks for watching this episode. Stay tuned. We'll have plenty more to come. For now, I'm Stacy Rogers. This is Labor of Love with the City of Plano.